for a man accustomed to the fast break pace of life in the NBA, Basketball Hall of Famer Bobby Slick Leonard is having to take things at a much slower pace. I made a move for, for the car and boom, hit that ice. Down I went. I was, as I'm laying there on the ground, you know, I mean, I mean, you, the, the pain's just, you know, it's unbelievable pain. On January 5th, the Pacers radio broadcaster slipped on a patch of ice and shattered his left hip. The injury has kept the 85-year-old away from the Pacers broadcast booth. But this isn't the first time that Slick has been away from the mic. In 2011, he suffered a heart attack. What is it in you where you're always so aggressive and not letting it take you down? I don't know. I guess it's... Although I've always been, you know, I've been like that since I was a kid. You know, it, uh, the way I came up, you fought for everything, and you know? I'm still fighting. Till now, I've been in pain, but it gets less every day. So you got to fight it. And in his corner, his wife, Nancy. The two have been together for more than 60 years. Right now, they watch all of the Pacer games on TV. But Slick says when he returns to Banker's life, she will be leading the way. Give me another, just about another month from now. Yeah. yeah I'll be back doing games, and maybe before that. Uh, you know, she drives me, or has been. You remember the movie uh, Driving Driving oh, Miss Daisy? Miss Daisy. Yeah. Well, the new movie is Driving Old Slick. <laughs> Slick is in the middle of his 33rd year as a Pacers broadcaster. He says despite this latest injury, he has no intentions of stepping away from the booth. If you retire, you die. That's the way I look at it. If you retire, you die. So why the hell not keep, especially this piece of cake you guys got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you Boom, can see, baby. Slick still has a sense of humor. He, he says he's eyeing a return for the Pacers' homestand from March 23rd through 25th. We can hear him in the broadcast booth then. And he also expects to be back on the golf course in late April. Well, on a day like today, you can, can't blame him for talking we about We did a lot of golf course, talk right? and a lot of basketball talk. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jason.